We can now run through the two lineups, beginning with first team coach Simon Bassey and how he set up his bees. In goal four, Barnett, Watford Loney, Adam Parks. In the final game ahead of him, the end of his loan. Also the end of the loan for quite a few players in this squad. I'll go through them. Themis Kefalas is number 15 uh, in that uh, more midfield position. So the back four is Sam Beard, Ben Nugent, Ben Richards, Everton and Lee Vaughan, who's wearing the armband this afternoon. Themis Kefalas and Sam Skeffington line up in midfield together. The wingers of Harry Taylor, goal scorer Harry Taylor as he is now, and Efron Mason Clark. In behind the striker is Anthony Wordsworth, and leading the line is Tommy Adeloy on the with the ball at his feet. And now we are underway. Ball immediately played all the way back to Richards Everton. He's found Adeloy. He might just get into the box here to find a way, but Ben Wyatt was there to hook clear. Chance there for Sutton. All seemingly out of nothing. Shasilva got a shot on target, a snapshot. The ball fell for him kindly. Might get another opportunity here. Shasilva. Important head away from Richards Everton. Sutton just trying to start to up the ante, Aaron, after a bit of a slow start to the game there. Trying to get at Barnett. Adeloy just hassling there, but concedes a foul. Good interception from Beard. However, Harry Taylor cannot reciprocate by keeping the ball under his control. This ball there, though, from Sutton, and here's Efron Mason Clark. Going to run at the Sutton defence, might get a shot away here, and does. Forces Pizanis into a save, but it doesn't drop. For Adeloy, but it will be a beast corner. That's a bit more like it. Good from Efron just to pick it up in the inside the Sutton half. Decent save by the Sutton keeper and Adloy unlucky on the rebound. Wordsworth to whip this one in left footed. There's Nugent and Richards Everton venture forward. It's going to be towards Richards Everton. Gets his head onto it, back in towards the box, drops for Adloy. He's got his shirt, plenty of his shirt being pulled. Efron Mason Clark goes down. Here's Lee Vaughan. His shot is blocked by Craig Eastman. Oh, Sutton will come away with it. Shasilva doesn't quite fall for Olafe. Just, had just straight off. But we are starting to see a little bit of the old Efron recently in those last few games. There's a chance as the ball came across. And the penalty appeal there. Not quite sure. And then Efron Mason Clark should have got a penalty there. A nasty injury as you said. Here's Efron Mason Clark. To Harry Taylor. He's brought down. This remains down. It was a strong challenge. The Sutton man wins the ball, but it was a very heavy challenge on Harry Taylor and good play from Efron Mason Clark. Absolutely. As we have another look at it here, I think, as you say, it's, it's not a foul. Nick Wordsworth. Forward to Skeffington. Finds Nugent in space, and Lee Vaughan is making a run. Nugent finds him well. Here's Efron Mason Clark in 10 yards of space. Now going to burst towards the Sutton goal. His right foot is shot though. And he's one to forget on his weaker foot. Randall crossing opportunity and what a cross it was. It just needed a touch. Adjie Boy was the man steaming in but he was just a couple of inches too short. But that was the best moment from a certain point of view in this one, Aaron. Good play by Randall just to skip past the Barnet man and into the box. And his cross really wasn't far away from being met. I can have a look at it here, and it was all too easy for Randall in truth. Just getting around Kefalas.
Randall brings it in field and then plays it across to Simpson. He's in acres of space. There's Adjaboy in front of him. Here is Adjaboy. Good cross. And that's actually a fine reaction save from Adam Parks. Get it down quickly. And bravely. Great stop. To deny Callum Keeley. We take another look at it here. Got his positioning all right. He's made it look a, a comfortable stop because of his positioning. As you said, Aaron, and the striker just gets on the blind side of Ben Nugent and gets the contact. And as you say, good little reaction stop from Adam Parks. Looks set for what well, is likely to be the final action of this half. And it is the final action of this half. There was a crossing opportunity for Adeloy and a little bit of a frustrated moan from the Barnet fans who haven't had anything to get off of their feet for this first half. It's been very much an end of season affair. Is Adeloy blocked off by Eastmond, and that will be a free kick on the edge of the box. Not quite a shooting position. Just need to lift the Bees fans a little bit here with an opportunity as we take a replay of it, and I think it was a simple decision in truth for Gareth Rhodes. Adeloy steps up. One there was the cry from the Barnet fans. Not quite just yet. Beard plays it back into Nugent. Referee does eventually give a foul. Clips it in towards Adeloy. There is a header there from Kefalas. It's simple in the end for Vuzanis. But no one was picking up the young Greek. Another good chance for Femis Kefalas. He seems to be a bit of a magnet to set pieces recently. He would have wanted to maybe do a bit better either side of the goalkeeper. You're causing some problems. Turned 21 yesterday. Did the man from Athens. Managed just to drift in there and managed to chance. get his head onto the ball. And it is a chance, as you say. Big head from Ben Nugent. Kefalas comes away with it and it's forward to Efron Mason Clark. Has players either side of him. One of them is Skeffington. Crosses in. It is a good ball towards Harry Taylor. Pushes it goalwards. The post. He's given it. He's got it in. Barnett take the lead against Sutton United. Harry Taylor, two goals in two games. If it's going to be credited to him, that is. That was utterly bizarre, Aaron. I don't know what happened there. It, we need to see a replay. I'm sure it's Harry Taylor's. Well, there's not much celebration from him. I tell you what, if he hadn't scored Tuesday, he might be taking this one. But we'll take another look at it now. It strikes the post. Buzanis down on his haunches. It's an own goal. And it looks like it's... And it definitely doesn't doesn't look like it crossed the line. Whatever happens, it's Barnet one Sutton nil. It's either Aaron Simpson or Harry Taylor. It'll be interesting to see that from the North Stand camera. Because it's just whether it's snuck in. But we're on our way. A little bit of concern here. As again, another... Sutton man is down. We're going to take another look at it here from behind the goal. And it is Skeffington's cross. And it's Aaron Simpson under pressure from Harry Taylor. As to who got the final touch, we're not sure. There was half-hearted appeals from Barnet players. 
don't know if it's gone over the line. It doesn't. It really doesn't look like he's gone very far over the line. If it has, it would be very marginal. Here's there from Mason Clark. Driving into the opposition half. Slips it forward to Adeloy. Switches it up a gear to keep it in play. Back to Mason Clark. Skips in field. Ephraim Mason Clark. Shoots. Hits the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. So close to doubling their lead through Ephraim Mason Clark. Just given enough time to get a shot away and he so nearly punished the Sutton defence. What a strike that would have been. His beard drags it away from Simpson. Back now to Wordsworth and the Bees have a skip in their step. And they have the champions on the ropes. What a goal it would have been for Mason Clark. He did so well and then unleashed the strike and inches a bit of paintwork away. Take another look at that now. We've seen this couple of times from Ephraim Mason Clark in his Barnet career. He brings the ball in from the outside and fires with that venomous left foot of his. Goldwoods a couple of inches lower and we would have been celebrating what would have been potentially goal of the season. The other change to the score lines so far. Bromley the big movers. Absolutely. Bromley shifting into a playoff place as it stands. And they'll play Notts County at the moment. Next Saturday up at Meadow Lane. That would have been three times about ten days. Shot. Hits the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. Out of nothing, seemingly. What a goal that would have been for Sutton. Adam Lovett, given the time and space to have a go. Parks was beaten. He could only watch and hope. And thankfully for him, it, it crashes against the crossbar. But that was a, a fantastic effort from Lovett. Well, the first goal took us by surprise. This one almost did too. As he just drifted away from two Barnet men and then lined up a shot, did Adam Lovett. He's so unlucky. The second time the woodwork has been rattled. Could argue the third time with the, uh, the actual Barnet goal, which went in off the post, or what did it? Who knows? Barnett looked to come away here. Wordsworth forward to Mason Clark. He has McBurney over to his left-hand side. Lost that opportunity to play him through. It's now over to Skeffington. Not too many Barnet bodies committing themselves forwards. Skeffington's on a world of his own over by that corner flag, but does really well up against Wyatt and now drives into the box. Walker shoots, scores and wraps up the game! His first of the season coming in stoppage time of the last game of the year. It's been a frustrating year for him. It's been a frustrating year for Barnet, but they've ended it in style here. A second goal against the champions. And it's come from the Bees, 22, Josh Walker. Brilliant for Josh Walker, brilliant for the Barnet fans. What a way to, to wrap up what's been a, a disappointing campaign, but this last seven, eight games, Aaron, have been brilliant from the Bees and they richly deserved their three points this afternoon and what a finish by Josh Walker. Good play by Mason Clark. Good play from Skeffington and uh, pick that one out. Josh Walker finds a corner and that's a nice way to finish it in front of the Bee Army. Absolutely. All the fans off of their seats. That's a fine finish, really. First time from Walker and again could this just be the start of something there's a lot of work to be done but they're ending this season in fine form Sam Beard and the whistle is blown on the 2020 2021 campaign and it ends with a Barnet win against the champions. But this is for you as well at home.
The Bees end the season on a high.